Hello again! Welcome back to the Flutter Boring Show. Uh, we're going to be adding caching to the Hacker News app, a much request requested feature. True. Um, actually, before that, um, I'm going to jump in and add... Um, right now, when you tap on these stories, uh, you just see story. And I think in an earlier iteration, we had the um, it display the number of comments, and we got rid of that when we were no longer hard coding things. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we're going to add it the proper way. And um, I pulled up the Hacker News API up on GitHub. And this has all the fields. And here you can see that descendants, um, in the case of stories or polls, shows the total comment count. Oh, which handy. is That's handy. yes, conveniently named descendants. But you know. <laughs> Um, so let us, let's see, that is in, oops, here, I think it's like raw item, build item, there we go, and article type, we want to do article dot descendants, oh, and that's an int, so we want to, actually, let's, um, let's make that Oh, it's text. an int? Oh, OK. It's the number of comments. Oh, OK. Uh, and then I'll just say comments. Great. Look at Ooh, that. Ooh, that's awesome. comments. Can you show another? Ah, uh, nice. This that blog has moved. Boy. What? <laughs> yes. No, I want to read. OK. <laughs> um, OK, so and then um, we actually noticed we had a bug <laughs> that yeah. we just implemented. Uh, so Philip added. Um, pulling in the stories from the Hacker News API, from the top and the um, news stories. And right now, if you tap between them, it, oh, wait. Yeah, it's just, I think, it does show. yeah, it does show, but it's so slow because we're not caching that ah. it looks like it's not changing I see, I see, I see, sometimes. I see. If you like click back and forth to to, uh, I see. to so we should probably yeah. maybe implement. we should implement some caching. Yeah. Okay. Um, so to do that, let's go into our block. And so what we're doing is, um, so we have we're pulling up creating this. Let's see. This is a list. So. What we want to do is um, we can make a, I was going to make a, a hash map of um, article ID to article that has been parsed. Hmm. But no. No, yeah, yeah, sure. No, 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 I'm, I'm saying hmm because uh, I, I thought we would just like put the articles that we got to some list and then reuse it or... Sure. Uh, what I'm, what I was thinking is like, so this this takes the top, say, ten stories. Right. Uh, what if someone posts another one? Right. Um, if you get one updated one, were you just going to invalidate the whole list? Hmm. Good point. So yes. if we put in a hash map, we get one new one, and all the others are still cached. Yeah. Um, and so we can look them up individually. So yes, yours like is quicker for like a whole block, right. but like I think for ten articles, it's not yes. going to be that bad. Um, so I was, I'm trying to remember now. So in what you actually, yeah, do we? I was sitting there watching you code it, and now I need to orient myself. <laughs> um, we are calling, getting the IDs. We take this list. Where does this? Where does this get called? Um, uh, in many places, actually. Uh, a three. Get articles and update. Okay. So how about instead? Let's get rid of that. Um, how about we write this to a um, a list? Or sorry, we'll take this and and store it in the hash map once we get those IDs. No, uh, no, no. Actually, <laughs> we're going to once we get the articles, um, store that in in the uh, hash map. So let's go to the definition of that. Right. So yeah. Okay. So I you was I was thinking yes. I was thinking that the um, 
the delay is because just the first call, but it's actually because of all the 10 other calls for the articles, I, right? Yeah, the, no, you, I think. Per, yes, that's perfectly reasonable. So yeah, what I wanted to cache is like everything, but uh, Emily has a much better point in like always getting the latest um, IDs and then uh, reusing um, whatever we have. Uh, for the articles itself themselves. That's great. Yes. So I'm gonna I'm writing a hash map. Hash map and article. And then um, when we have that update articles. Oh wait. I was just there. Where was it? I apologize, my font size is bigger than I like it with this. <laughs> um Get articles and update. Here we go. Okay, so now we have we have the list of IDs. We have. I I just um just checked that article is a built um built thing, so yes. it will have good hash. So that's good. Great. Oh, yeah. thank just, you for checking. Yeah. Um, sorry, I just need to find. We have two. We have two. We have initialized articles, update articles. I'm just like, <laughs> <Yeah>. ah. <laughs> um, okay. Do you want to re? We can rename initialized articles with something like, like Kickstart or something because that that's only called once. In well, the I think initialized says that. What I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna organize these things. So I'm gonna right. put initialize kind of near. Um, right. Well, we'll put it after our declarations, but um, near right. this. Oh, and here's another little bit of cleanup. We have some uh, declarations here and some here. Right. Oh wait, no, those are getters. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so um, getter, getter, initialize, close, get article. Okay, so here's where we want in get article. Uh, we want to say um, if our cache articles contains key of this ID. Hmm. Uh, actually, we could just say if it doesn't contain, do the thing. Um, oh, I think with the throw as well. Yes, right. thank you. And then, um, and okay, and if here we want to say cached articles ID equals the results, uh -huh. and then we'll say return hash articles. Oh, OK, interesting. And then uh, in that case, you'll need else for the throw. Otherwise, we, you always throw. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yep. That would be sad. <laughs> <laughs> you would throw my uh, favorite Oh, error. yes, the uh, excellent but, <laughs> but still. OK. Yeah, that was quick. OK, so now, um, hooray, an exception. Yeah. <laughs> that was my one. Oh, actually, you know why? It's because um, I, I need to do a hot restart because I declared something. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Contains key. Trade calling on null. What? Is it null? So, OK, actually, I think my, I'm going to restart this. This is, this is a new machine, and I think my VS code is a little wonky. I was noticing hot restart was not quite happy with me. Try again. If this doesn't work, then we can. Yeah, it's weird. Because okay, it, was... it should be. Yeah, it like shouldn't right be now ever. That's funny, though, that it thought it was there, but then, well, whatever. Okay, so here. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. Um, great. So there you have it. That is how you do caching. Um, basically, in summary, you um, it's all within the block. Um, it's all hidden from the UI, because the UI doesn't care how you get the information. And it's just under the covers, we're returning the data faster, because we have a little hash map. Yeah. So that's great. So I think. Um, uh, that's What's been next? great. What's next? Um, do we do we say? I yeah. think it's it's almost ready to publish it to the Play Store. Yeah. So stay yeah. tuned, and you can figure out uh, you can learn how to publish your beautiful new app 
to the Google Play Store. Mm-hmm.